known, our history, our pride. Year after year, as seasons change and memories are made, one thing will never change. Home is always right here. And when you walk through our doors, we never forget that, because this is our home too. So come on in, have a seat, and welcome home. The Triple R Roadhouse in the Clarion Mall, just off Interstate 80 at exit 62. Another edition of the D9Sports.com District 9 Camp Football Tour 2015 here at Kerwinsville High School with head coach Andy Ivanko. Andy, tell us which guys you've got with you here. Uh, right next to me, I have our quarterback and uh, defensive back, Jake Terry. And the last side of him is the running back and the side of the linebacker, Hunter Johnson. Uh, how's practice going so far? Uh, as well as can be expected. Uh, with the heat, humidity, and uh, our you know, heat acclimations you have to do this year, I think we're right where we want to be, or exactly where we hope to be. Um, Hunter, you know, you guys had a decent season last year. I'm sure expectations are pretty high again for this season, as they always are at Kerwin. So what are your hopes for the season? Uh, definitely hope to make it to the playoffs, at least, and get a positive record. Um, Jake, what has been the thing that makes Kerwinsville football so successful? Uh, just how we practice and how we're physical, and we just always play as hard as we can. Um, Andy, what are you hoping for the offense to accomplish this year? Well, we're hoping to be a balanced offense. We want to throw the ball almost as much as we run the football. I never get a bad rap for running the ball all the time, but you know, we, we, you go as much you got. But this year, we're hoping to open things up a lot more. Well, I know I expect to see nine, ten, ten guys in the box with what we have here, and some of these guys that are receiving the catching for me. Um, Hunter, from the defensive side of things, what are you hoping for Kerwinsville to do this year? Well, I'm hoping for the younger guys to step up. We lost a lot of starters last year, and I think they can do it. Um, Jake, how have the younger guys looked in practice so far? Uh, they've looked pretty good. They've been getting a lot of reps because uh, low numbers, but we got all talent here. Like, there's no slack off. Um, guys, just tell people why they should come out and watch the Tide play this season. Well, <laughs> don't be laughing at me, fellas. Uh, you can get some pretty close games. They want to watch good football. Thank you, Jake. <laughs> yeah, I just supposed to say it right away. Hopefully we can show a pretty good brain in oh. football. Hopefully more exciting. Hopefully people, uh, people on the stands. Uh, we're playing a very, very competitive and tough AML. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of rivalries going on there. I think it'll be an exciting season for everybody. Yes, you're going to ask that, Andy. You know, the AML South, as we all know, was, uh, was maybe one of the better football conferences in the whole state last year in terms of everybody being able to beat anybody in every given night. Do you expect the same type of stuff this year? I do, absolutely. There's a lot of quality players coming back in all of those schools in the South Division. Uh, a lot of those schools, you have, like, you, know, you have... I, what's that called? We have more than one school together. Uh, like DC the co-ops. Right, yeah, the co-ops. You have a chance to bring a lot of like you know extra players into the fold. So it gets an advantage to some of the schools, and, and, and that, that's not an issue. It's just the fact that there's a lot of quality football players in that league. Well, guys, good luck, and thanks for joining us on another edition of the D9Sports.com District 9 Football Camp Tour 2015.